What's going on boys? My name is Sid and welcome back to The Crew 2. Yes, don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. Although I will be doing a lot of Need for Speed Unbound content video out tomorrow. Probably going to play it on stream tomorrow as well. Ah, oh, God, I like that game. And honestly, check some of that content out. Genuinely, just, just, you know what? The racing game audience has a habit of like, oh my God, I like Need for Speed. And I hate everyone who likes the crew. And oh my God, I like the crew. And I hate everyone who likes Forza. I like Forza. And I hate everyone who likes whichever the first one I said was. And here's the thing. Both games are pretty good, <laughs> you know? And if not, I don't know. Check out the streams and check out the videos to leave a comment about how bad the game is. But today, regardless of that, regardless of the fact that, hey, boys, I'm going to be doing a lot of Unbound content. Check that out. Maybe even a Kuntash v Kuntash. But today, before that, I'm going to be going into The Crew 2 to play with, speaking of, the brand new Lamborghini Kuntash. There's two of them. I'm going to play with the Hypercar one today. And then an Unbound video tomorrow, then the street one is going to be the day after tomorrow. And then I'll do some interesting stuff with them. There she is. Oh, no spoiler on stock. Okay, we're definitely going to be doing a video on that. Okay, very sweet. Let's go and buy this bundle. So, uh, let's get this hypercar one, which we could do some cool stuff with. 1.5 mil. That's kind of cheap. Now, you got to remember, this is one, discounted because Elite Bundle. Two, I don't think you can't buy them separately. You can't buy them outside of the Elite Bundle. It's like a month and a half, two months until you can. And this might be cheaper for me than it is for you because I have the Season Pass. Not the Motor Pass, nothing like that. The Season Pass. It's You buy it separately, it gets you like 20% off of every single purchase in the game. But now that I've explained that, because I always get comments about that, let's buy the Kuntashes. Have you bought the Kuntashes? What do you think about them? Are you, are you going to buy them? And uh, are you going to try them out? Comment down below, of course. Okay, where is she? I mean, the street one is probably going to be terrible, right? It's a... Cl oh, is it there? Oh, 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 let's drive it first. The street one's a classic car, right? Like, it's going to be terrible. But the hypercar one is the one where the... Oh, my God, it, I surprised it. It's like... <laughs> Like, it's given me, like, a like a surprised eyebrow expression there. <laughs> the hypercar one is the one that it's like, oh, hopefully this one is actually good. You know? I mean, hopefully we get some good customization, too. Oh, oh! That was some nice handling. I mean, I'm definitely going to be used to the brake to drift that is Need for Speed that, honestly, I've kind of been enjoying. I'm... So okay, you know what? I'm someone who's been saying for a very long time... Break to drift is bad. Break to drift doesn't make sense in a modern video game. I kind of enjoy break to drift. Uh, you know what? It works because it's in Need for Speed, which is its own little game. When I need actual, like, cars driving, and no crew isn't realistic, I can always come back to this. Also, this car, like, it looks like a GTA car. <laughs> it looks like if GTA was to make a newer version of the Kuntash. I don't know what it is about this thing. It isn't, like... Uh, I think Josh was telling me that, one, it, it's too expensive to make a new chassis or whatever, right? A new base, wheelbase, etc. So it's just essentially a hurricane that they put this designed thing on. It's nice that they've done it, right? A bunch of car companies are doing that recently where, you know, you had the Lavoie Noir, the Cento Dieci, which were both in the Crew 2 and... You know, there's there's other other stuff probably. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go into customize this thing. You know what? Let's go into customize this thing. Imagine it has a wide body. Imagine the Lamborghini Countach has a wide body when the Aventador doesn't. Just imagine. First, I want to make it not white. Oh, the white is is kind of blinding. I don't like. Oh, the green looks nice. I might. Oh, okay, I might make silver. It's close to white, but it's not as blinding. Liveries we'll look at in a minute. Customization. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Okay, 10, 10. Okay, right. So primary color that. Uh, carbon fiber that, but I prefer that it looks like that. Okay, whatever. And oh, that kind of rounds it out. I like that. And then, of course, the primary, non-primary. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll find out which one to go with. <gasps> Wide-bodied 
Quintash, yes! <laughs> oh, we do love a good wide body on the Sidwise channel. Let's go and uh, let's whack on this one. I don't want to put the primary color. But there we go. I wanted the wide body so it'd be a little lower and then I'd use that splitter. Okay, now I'm happy. Okay, and I'm going to leave that as the carbon fiber to have the contrast there. And I guess that makes sense, sure. Oh, the wide body. And a carbon fiber is that, which I guess adds to the... I guess it adds to something. Uh, Okay, so we've got the... Is that primary color? I guess it would be. And then, but like misty. Oh, wait, is there three here? So there's that and that. Oh, and then the different types of exhaust that partner with that okay that oh nothing's actually physically changing there right no not a single thing is physically changing oh is that all of them oh okay that is the only one with something actually different so i might go with that just because that is the only one with something different and wait no spoiler oh okay they gave me a wide body, but I guess no spoiler. Damn. Oh, liveries are never... You know what? Liveries in the crew 2 fell off. They really did. A bunch of the, uh, like, really good livery creators, they don't play on the game anymore. I mean, I talked about this in a video way back when. Yeah, a bunch of the, the big livery creators, they don't play the game anymore. They don't... They, everyone's gone bored of the game. But there's still a demand for good liveries, you know? And uh, it's the, the issue is it's good livery straight away. Oh, I love that. I mean, the thing looks cool, but uh, I don't know what to do for, <laughs> for uh, what's it called? You know, the, the, the livery. And you know what? It, I, apparently, a lot of the like best livery creators think I don't like them or they don't like me or something. I don't know. I don't know what I did. And I'm sorry if I did do something, Mr. Livery Creators. Please make a, a good Sid Wedge livery or just any livery that I can use. <laughs> Let's find some vanities. I've got some good yellows. No, uh, don't I have some good yellows? By the way, no stream tonight. I'm just going to be playing a bunch of Need Speed Unbound. Um, going back into that. Grinding so I can get that I finished Need for Speed Unbound title, you know. Yeah, we do have a yellow. Sweet. See, I've screwed myself over here because I haven't given myself a secondary color. So now, you know, I don't want to go with yellow smoke because that's just that's just... That's just a bit too much yellow, you know? I haven't given myself a secondary color here. And nitro-wise, I don't even know, right? Like, I, I, what's a good yellow nitro? Oh, not prismatic. Ew. Oh, nothing. Let's go with that. I'm gonna go white underglow. We'll black out the windows. We will... No, we won't. Maybe? I don't know. And there we go. That is the Lamborghini Countach, which has some good customization. I don't know. Like, the front bumper. The, fr the front hood. The hood bloody tricked me because I saw that the hood was only two, the stock and then the stock but carbon fiber. So it, it was a, it was a funny haha -ha prank video game. But you know what? I'm glad it actually got some customization. Let's take it into some races. Bronx, always a brilliant, well-rounded race. Let's go into that. And uh, I'm probably, yeah, probably going to do some videos on this thing. You know, I, I might not do I beat Latrell in the uh, Kuntash because we've got two Kuntashes. One in Street and Hyper, so I could easily do I beat Tio in the Lamborghini Countach. R right? <laughs> it would be good. It would be a good video. Okay, it'll be a good video. And New York, obviously. Obviously. Here we go. Let's go into Bronx. Oh, uh, okay. It's something about this car. It, it just looks like a, a GTA car to me. It doesn't look like a real car. The fact that Lamborghini designed this baffles me, honestly. The old Countach was a car that was very sorely missed from the crew too. But every, everyone wanted the Countach and it sucked that we didn't get it, you know. It sucked that we didn't get the Countach for a very long time. But honestly, honestly, you know, ha oh, pardon me, hindsight's 2020. <clears throat> All things considered, I'm glad we got it like this. Because it's a lot cooler when they do these kind of bundles, you know, the La Voce Noir, the... Uh, huh? What was I going to say? Okay. Someone didn't want to break or turn, I guess. The La Voce Noir being the newer version of the Bugatti Atlantic. The uh, Cento Dieci being a newer version of the EB110. Okay, I guess there's a trend there. But, you know, it's nice when they do these, like, legacy cars returning back new. I mean, hey, if you subscribe to the Stick Drift podcast, a podcast out every single Sunday, all things car, car culture, racing, racing games, and motorsports, we talk about that kind of stuff and how companies need to do it more, especially with the new EV lineups, right? Take an old car model, 
and keep it in what it is. Don't take, don't do an eclipse and take the eclipse name, a sports car, and turn it into an SUV. Take an old car, like an RX-7, right? And, I don't know, make it the IX-7 and redesign it and make it bloody electric or something. Because at the moment, electric cars are bad. This has just become an episode of the Stick Drift Podcast. <laughs> my bad. But yeah, subscribe to the Stick Drift Podcast. It's every single Sunday. It's a podcast for me and my mate. All of that stuff. Honestly, so far, this thing's been pretty bad. It's been pretty bad. Its brakes are just like non-existent. But uh, I don't know if it's going to be usable to any degree. The yellow's nice, I guess, right? The yellow's nice. I guess. But yeah, all things considered, I'm, I'm really glad that it came into the game like this. The Kuntash with the, the old Kuntash and the new Kuntash. I mean, what other cars could they do that with, right? Like, cars that were, like, old cars and then had, like, a legacy car updated model. Because I can't really think of any. I mean, hey, cars like the Audi R8 and the Audi TT and the Ford Fiesta and the Lamborghini Aventador, they've all been discontinued and the Jaguar F-Type. All of those are either on their final version or are being discontinued. So maybe 20, 30 years down the line, maybe more, in the Cruise 7, we'll get an old Audi R8 with the brand new Audi R8 that they're releasing in 2075 uh, new version in the game as well. You know, that's the legacy bundles we need. I might, you know what, because I'm not going to be streaming today, I might just pump out the Kuntash Street video today. Comment, if you've watched right now, comment down below, do you really care enough for the Street Kuntash and uh, want it uh, and won that video out today, considering I'm not streaming, or do you not mind and it'll be out in two days, you know? Like, it'll, it will just be out in two days, <laughs> you know? Also, bear in mind, if I don't film it right now, I'll get to film it on stream, <clears throat> the Street Kuntash video. So you could, you could watch it on stream, actually. But comment if you want to see it today. Let's go into another race. Last race. Also, why have they released this this week on the Baron Raid week? This is such a cool Summit car. And they've got Summit car nothing. Summit car nothing. Summit car nothing. So if you were smart about it, put the the, the other things that aren't to do with the Summit cars in between the Summit car week. It's just it's so dumb. I don't know. It's dumb. I, I don't like it. I'm going to complain. I'm going to write a formal complaint. No, I'm not. But, like, what if I did? I'd be justified. Ivory Tower, I want to talk to your manager. <laughs> Let's go to this race. I just realized, it the, the, the splitter kind of sucks. Um, It goes there to the sides. Then on the side, it's a, it's a different kind because it's not... On there, it's attached. <clears throat> it's attached and it's uh outside. No, it's attached to the car. There, it is the car, the splitter. And at the back... Nothing has changed. It's just it's a bit carbon fiber. I guess car customization is weird It's just a, it's just a weird car customization is what it is. Here we go white rock hills. Woo. Let's go I mean one of the uh, One of the nicer races if I ever have to go for like handling top speed and uh, All around for Bronx. I end up going handling white rock I think is all around or it might be the other way around I might consider Bronx the all-around and this the, uh, the handling. But then obviously like Big Land for top speed because Big Land is just a terrible race because it's got them R2 simulator. Big Land is stinky is the point. Big Land is stinky. I mean, there's this bit, but it, you know, you also got to like stay uh, straight, I guess. You know, I, I guess this one is pretty all-around. It's got the, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> okay. But yeah, well, um, yeah, are you going to buy Unbound, right? I need to be Unbound. Here's the thing. Right now, you can only play it if you, uh, well, one, it's next gen only. And oh, ow, this thing's slow. And two, you can only play it if you have the Palace Edition. Basically, completely limiting the amount of people that can play Need for Speed Unbound, essentially. Literally, like, putting it to zero, the amount of people that can play Unbound. But, uh, hey, I will finish Unbound. I'm going to grind it out today. And hopefully, the video you see tomorrow is, I finished Unbound, not... I'm 70% of the way through Unbound, you know. God, the progression in that game is so much longer than I thought it was, right? It's bloody, like... It's long, okay? I was expecting... I loaded it up and people were like, Oh yeah, it's gonna have like three hours of story. I'm on like the... The the week two. I'm on like the second day of week two. Because I'm actually trying to maximize all the money I earn. And also, god damn, is that game repetitive. Oh. Also, yeah, this video comes out at three. So if I see enough comments 
uh, from 3 to 3.30. I can get the Street Contash video out in like an hour and a half. And that would be... I, I'd have three hours. And that would be it coming out at stream time. Which, obviously, I'm not streaming today because it's not my stream day. So, yeah, it would work. But there you go. There is the Lamborghini Countach. The new one in Hypercar. A cool car, but honestly, when it comes to handling and etc., pretty meh. But also, uh, customization-wise, kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's an acquired taste, but I kind of really don't like what this car looks like. It's a, it's a bit of a goofy goober of a car. I don't know. Hey ho, thank you to popular members. And a special, special thank you to famous members. Become a member today. It's one of the main reasons I'm able to do what I'm able to do. Have an amazing rest of your day in a bit.